What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for series 13 in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using probably the fastest mythical Pokemon introduced in series 13. We got ourselves Zero Aura. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, just leave the doors right over there. I'm just kidding. Stay a little bit longer, but definitely consider subscribing. It only takes about two seconds of your guys' time, and it really helps me grow as a content creator. Well, let's get started here. Starting off in that top left corner with today's team preview, we have the one and only Shadow Rider Calyrex. Not just any Shadow Rider Calyrex. We have Choice Specs Calyrex. Really, really strong. Does crazy amount of damage. Cannot wait to use it in battle. It's got the as one ability alongside with shadow ball energy ball astro barrage and psy shock for its move set second pokemon is going to be the zebra aura it's got volt absorb and life orb as an item that make it do a crazy amount of damage it's got signature move plasma fist and then it's got protect fake out for flinches and helping hand to pair up with the shadow rider calyrex really strong combo right there i can legit go into zero aura and calyrex and legit just helping hand so calyrex gets a helping hand boost the stab boost alongside with the choice spec boost and it just does a crazy amount of damage so cannot wait to show off that combo and more importantly show off zero aura in dynamax and as a support mod because it can be used as an attacker or even a support mod middle left is going to be regilecki over here and everything's pretty normal for regilecki it's got transistor it's got the magnet protect thunderbolt volt switch and e-web for speed control Fourth Pokemon is the best Pokemon in the game. It's going to be Zacian over here with the Interpret Sword, alongside with that Rusted Sword to give it that nice, lovely attack boost when it hops in the battle. It's got Protect, Player Off, Sacred Sword, Iron Head. Like I said, everything is fairly normal for Zacian. You cannot go wrong with that moveset. Bottom left hand corner is another Pokemon with a pretty normal moveset. It's going to be Drizzle Kyogre with this Soul Fest. It's got Ice Beam, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Thunder. It's legit its best moveset you can possibly give him. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Whimsicott with Prankster and the Focus Ash. It's Rocket Tailwind for Speed Control, Moon Blast, Helping Hand, and Protect. Guys, if you want to write this code for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Zero Aura Series 13 team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one. Going up against a Victini team with Groudon, Ho-Oh, Sun Gift Cherum. And then he's got Zacian and Kiram Black. So we definitely got to bring Kyogre just to try to win the Weather War. But I feel like leading Zero Aura. I feel like it's really good. I feel like we can go with Zero Aura and maybe even in with Calyrex turn one. Maybe just choice and kind of get effort to battle that way. Like I said, we could do a crazy amount of damage. We could fake out. We can just do There's just a lot of options for, for our Pokemon right here. So I'm really digging it. So I might go in with both of them. Definitely got to bring Kyogre in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards Zacian. But well, Zacian can do a lot of work. I mean, the only Pokemon he really can't do a decent job up against is going to be the Ho-Oh, but we do have Zero Ore to kind of get after that. And same thing with Kyogre if we can win the Weather War. So, Zacian, come on down. You cannot go wrong with Zacian. You cannot go wrong with Zacian. And, uh, dude, I didn't even lead my, uh, I didn't even lead my Calyrex. So, I was wondering why I couldn't hit done. <laughs> I was wondering, but we're going to lead the Calyrex to Zero Ore and bring Zacian Kyogre in the back. Let's hit done now. Lock it in and lock it down. Let's get after it in battle number one. But you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below what question of the day. Do you guys think Zero Aura is better as an attacker or a support Pokemon? Like I said, the build that we have him on today, he can do a lot of damage with his Plasma Fist, but he can also be a nice, lovely support mod for Fake Out and helping him. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Zero Aura. Let's see who this guy's gonna lead. Again, this guy's team is rather strong, and depending on who we lead, we could get off to a rather strong start. So we'll see. We shall see. Kyogre might have to be our Dynamax Pokemon, which I'm kind of leaning towards already. I'm going to go Groudon alongside with Kiram, and I'm kind of cool with that. I don't mind it. I mean, obviously, I could fake out. He's probably going to Dynamax to Kiram. I'm not even going to lie. I think Kiram's probably going to get Dynamax. We can eventually bring out Zass and kind of... Not too bad. Not too bad. They can't eat berries either, which I think Groudon might have a berry. Terrible is busting out of here. We do have Volt Absorb, which is good on that Zero Aura. But do I just helping hand? I'm thinking of just faking out the Groudon. I don't know. Could just helping hand this move. I could just go here and drop a nice lovely Astro Barrage. Which I'm kind of leaning towards. Let's see how much damage it can do. Let's, let's give it a roll instead of a fake out because I don't know which Pokemon he's going to Dynamax. I was going to fake out the Groudon, but there is a slight chance that he does Dynamax. There's a slight chance. But at this point, I think Zero Order just goes down here. I probably should have swapped him. But I think he just goes down, right? I think our moves go through. I don't think we KO anybody. We actually might. Like I said, it does a crazy amount of damage. But I'm not too sure if we can KO anybody. And then a person place Blades come out from Groudon. And legit dump on me. Or he Dynamax Groudon goes to a Quake. But I was going to fake out the Groudon. Okay, he swaps it. That's even better for me. Maybe he thought I was swapping into the Kyogre. 
I'll go with this. He's gonna go into Charm for Sun Gift. That's actually a smart little play. Or the Flower Gift. Whatever, however you want to say it. Charm. Really cool Pokemon. He's gonna Dynamax a Kingdom. That's a really good play. Doesn't that boost special offense? That's a really smart play. Now I wonder what he's gonna go in from there. Maybe a uh, I think he might change up the weather. No, no shot he changes up the weather. He's gotta be going into a lightning into my Calyrex, right? That's gotta be his only play. That's got to be his only play. Or I'm hoping he goes into a lightning move into my Zero Aura. That would be hilarious. If not, then he's going to go for an Ice move, right? And change up the weather. But I just don't see that happen with, uh, with a chair amount on the field. But we're going to go for the Astro Blast with Helping Hand and Choice Specs. And look at that damage with the Sun Gift. With the Sun Gift. And he is changing up the weather. Wow. He is changing up the weather. That is super surprising. He's going to take out my Calyrex. I'm totally fine by that. I could go into... I think we just go into Zacian, right? We have speed. Yeah. We have speed all day. We go into Zacian. We just Behemoth Blade to slot. And I could end up Dynamax and Zero Aura if I want to. But there's no point. There's no point of Dynamax and Zero Aura. Right? Because he does have ground. I might as well save it for Kyle. And try to win this match. But dude, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm super surprised he changed up the weather. That's why I was just like, dude, he might be going into a Lightning. Which he probably should have done. He changes up the weather. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. He changes up the weather. But we're going to go with Zassian. We're going to try to force his ground on out before Kai Ogre comes out here. We could pick up a big time double kill here because Zassian can take off Kiram, obviously, with a shot. And then on top of that, Zero Aura outspeeds the, the, the little Cherim. And we can just throw a Plasma Fist right to the dome and take it out. Actually, will Plasma Fist even take it out? I don't even know, but we're still going to go for it. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go for a Behemoth Blade. And we're going to see how this one plays. He might swap into like Groudon or something. I don't know what he's going to do here. He has a lot of different options. I think he is going to swap into Groudon for the Cherim. And maybe just max guard to cure him at this turn. He has a lot of options. He has a lot of options. If he swaps the charm, that would be that would hurt the soul because then my plasma fist doesn't go through. And I really want to showcase plasma fist. It looks so cool. It really does look dope. Let's see what he does. He's thinking a lot because he knows he, we have Zassian on the board. He knows we have Zassian on the board. I'm just hoping he just keeps Kiram in and he doesn't max guard it. So I can legit just take it out. He's gonna end up withdrawing and he's gonna go in the ground, right? Groudon coming back out here. Yeah, Groudon comes back out here. So Plasma Fist isn't going to do anything. I think he's going to max guard here. He might even go for like a double protect chance. He might even go for double protect. Yeah, there's the max guard. Uh, I'm going to swap Kai Ogre this turn and save my Zero. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the Kiram. Or do we think he swaps Kiram? Definitely has an option. But again, I think we swap Kai Ogre here. And then we go into another Behemoth Wave right into the slot, right? It's just an easy play. It's just an easy play. He wants to go into blades. That's totally fine. I think uh, Zassian might be able to eat it up. Actually, probably not. I don't think he can. So let me just Dynamax Kyogre, and then we have my Plasma Fist in the back end. I'm going to swap to Kyogre. I'm going to take Weather Control here. I'm going to Dynamax him as soon as I possibly can. But I think he's going to go after Zassian with the Kyogre, or if Kyogre stays in here, he's dead, right? Yeah, so Kyogre's dead. He's going to go for a blades. Maybe he misses my Kyogre. Maybe he misses my Zassian. We do have a chance of that happening. But we're going to say bye-bye, Kyogre. Get him on out of my game. See you later. So we still have Sun Gift uh, Cherim or Flower Gift Cherim. He might have to swap. He's probably going to swap Groudon next turn. I'm just going to Dynamax and, and get it for the other. That's exactly what I'm going to do next turn. He's going to drop the Blades. Connects on both. Lucky him and Zassian. Can you eat this? I know Kyogre can. Zassian cannot. So we're going to have to Dynamax Kyogre here. We're going to have to get after it. And he doesn't have Dynamax, which is really good. And we have Fake Out right now. So he's obviously going to swap the Groudon slot. I said we just Fake Out on the left side. Whoever he brings in, and we just get after that. Right? Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Because I definitely need this Kai Ogre. 1000%. 1000%. So he's going to go on a Charm here. And do I just fake it out? What does he have? Who could he swap into? Because we're going into a water move. Oh, we go into a water move 100%. It's either Zacian. He's either swapping into Zacian. Oh, if he has Zacian, that's tough. That's tough news. That's real tough news. Yeah, I'm still going to go with two guys. We definitely guys are down this slot. We just plasma. Actually, I'd rather just fake out this slot. The plasma fist is okay. It was kind of tough. Maybe I should have helped me hand the shot. What's Charm really doing? Maybe hit me with an energy ball? Something like that? But this battle is coming down to the wire. It is coming down to the wire. I wish we didn't take that much damage with the uh, with the blades, but it'd be like that sometimes. We still have our Dynamax. We're going to roll off from here. So Dynamax and Kyogre, he's going to go up to, what is it? 158? One, That's... Kind of, it's kind of buns. <laughs> it's kind of awful. It's kind of bad. He's going to end up protecting the ground on. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. And then Fake Out's going to come out here. 
bop and chip up some damage. Plasma Fist can take that out. Zero Roots can take some Life Orb. And we are just going to Geyser with this. I think he's just trying to waste out turns. I think he's legit just trying to waste out turns. So Geyser's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. We want to keep the rain here. I'm just going to Geyser again. And then just Plasma Fist into that slot, right? It's definitely your best bet. Or I can help a hand and predict the swap. I don't know what I want to do, but you know, I'm just playing it simple. Go Geyser, and I'm going to just uh, Plasma Fist and finish off this. This lovely little charm. Or I could have set the electric to him. That probably should be my play. Actually, no, because he's not going to swap. He's not going to swap, so Max Lightning, probably not a play. I mean, if he swaps, someone's going to have to take a Max Geyser in the rain from a Kyogre. There's a big chance of KO. It's a big, big chance of KO. But my problem would be him having Zacian in the back end. Zacian is just such a huge problem. We don't like him one bit. We do not like him one bit. And I'm hoping this is asking. I'm kind of hoping he has Ho-Oh because I can roll into just straight Plasma Fist. So he's going to end up landing a Protect on Cherum. And Groudon, please don't double Protect. He does not. Okay, cool. So Groudon, does Groudon speed? No, it doesn't. That's big time place. That's big time place. So battle number one coming out to the wire. We finish off this little booger. And we go from there. We're going to try for the Plasma Fist again into Cherum. I'm not too worried about Cherum, but I still want him off the field. I still want him off the field. So let's see who his final Pokemon is. If it's Ho-Oh, I might just set the electric train just to help us out a little bit. But if it's Zacian, I'm kind of scared. Let's see. It's the boy. It's the boy. And we got to get after him. And we have to get after him. Do I set the electric train? I think it's terrifying. Do I set the electric train? I don't want to. And then just go for Plasma Fist. I think Zero Aura might outspeed him. Zero Aura's quick. He's really quick. You know, for the help. Oh, no. So Kyogre's definitely dead here. Kyogre's definitely dead. No shot. He survives. Plasma Fist coming in hot. Kyogre's dead. Helping hand. That's terrifying. But at least we get off a nice lovely Plasma Fist here. Get to showcase that. And we get rid of the Charm. So there goes Charm. Dashing was the one Pokemon. I was like, dude, I cannot deal with it. He's going to come out here and do me dirty. He's going to do me dirty, man. Leave me alone. Wow. He has Wild Charge, too. Of course, this thing's ripping with wild charge. I think he was taken out regardless. Like a play rough helping hand would have taken us out. Behemoth play probably would have taken us out. It's not very effective, but still just crazy amount of damage. He takes some recall. Is he orb too? No. What, what Sassian is ever orb? <laughs> but we have speed, and the only thing I can do is legit go into Plasma Fist. But we cannot eat up a shot from him. He's going to Behemoth Blade us and win this battle. Unless we get like a crit and maybe pick up KO, but I don't think Zero Orb can do that much damage onto Sassian. The Plasma Fist flying here. How much damage are we doing? It's a good chunk. That's a good chunk, but we're definitely dead. We'll take Life Orb damage, and all he has to do is 105. Player off comes out here. That's GG's, right? That is GG's. But, yo, what a first battle. We get to showcase Zero Aura. He's doing some big damage. He's getting off some helping hands, but we end up losing to a Zacian in the end. First battle came down to the wire, and we legit lost by this much. But you guys know to deal with that. It means we're hopping into battle number two, and we are grabbing you guys a victory here. We're going up against a Zama Zeta, Eternatus, and Shadow Rider Kylox team with Inteleon, Charizard, and Mamoswine. Okay, so Mamoswine is really the only Pokemon I got to worry about with dodging electric moves, but I'm still going to uh, lead the Zero Aura. So Zero Aura is going to get a nice little lead from us. Do we need speed here? I could go Regilecki, but again, I think he does bring Mamoswine. This one could be a problem for us. So I might just bring in like Zacian off the roof. Wait, we I feel like we're good on speed. Or I could go into Wimscott. Wimscott's not too bad. Wimscott's not too bad. I think we're good on speed. I really do. So I'm gonna go Zacian. I'm gonna go Calyx, and then in last spot spot, I'm gonna go Kyogre. Especially for a Dynamax Pokemon late game. So that's gonna be my lead. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here battle number one. But I think he's gonna lead like the, the Mammoth Swine or maybe the Inteleon. It could definitely be an option, or even a Calyx can come out here. And if Calyx comes out there, what can I do? Kind of counter like that. That's tough. That's a tough little customer right there. Calyx is always tough because I can't fake it out, which is awful. And he's just gonna go Charizard Mammoth Swine, which I'm really cool with. The Charizard Mammoth Swine is gonna come out here. Um, I could fake out the Charizard, but I really do think he's gonna Dynamax, so I might just Plasma Fist into it and Behemoth Blade the other slot. And it makes the most sense. I'm, I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. So yeah, I'm just gonna Plasma Fist it. Plasma Fist coming in hot onto the Charizard slot, and then on top of that, Behemoth Blade just rolling out up against the Mammoth Swine. I do think Mammoth Swine's potentially Sash. He probably has Ice Shard, and he does not Dynamax or anything. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
So hopefully the Charizard's not Wakan Bear. We can drop a nice lovely class with this, get off some good damage, and Behemoth Blade just dumps on Mammoth. Get it on out of here. Get it. Oh, we get a crit. But still, we were taking him out regardless. We were taking him out regardless. Crit, RNG did not matter there. So Plasma Fist can come through here. No Wakan Berry either. Dude, what is this guy thinking? This guy's thinking nothing. He's dead. Plasma Fist comes through here. Zero Ori just rips through the Charizard. Like I said, yo, we're winning this battle. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind. But this one might be quick because I'm a Dynamax Zero Aura, I think. It really depends on who he brings out because the only Pokemon that can, that was really countering up onto the Zero Aura was the, uh, was the, what's it called? It's the Mammoth. Was the Mammoth. Now with the Mammoth out of the way, I feel like I could just Dynamax Zero Aura, drop a Lightning into the Caloric slot, and then just play rough into the Eternatus, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Because he has Dynamax Caloric, so yeah, I'm just going to get straight up with the Dynamax. Let's get it. Do that, and then just play rough right into the Eternatus. Get off some big damage. We could have doubled down the Caloric, because I do think it's going to Dynamax. I think we should be fine. This little ghost horse over here doesn't stand a chance against my electric cat. But not a bad start. Not a bad start. Behemoth played Plasma Fist, picking up the easy double KO. And we rolled out from there. So I was really thinking of faking out the Charizard, but I was just like, dude, I think he's going to Dynamax. So I might as well just Plasma Fist it. I'm kinda I kind of wish it Dynamax because I want to see how much damage a Plasma Fist can do on a Charizard without a Wakan Berry. So that would have been a good chance to actually see it. Because still, I'm learning about these Pokemon just as much as you guys are learning about these Pokemon. I'm still, I'm still getting a hang of them, using them on the, on the, uh, the competitive ladder. When I end up Dynamax and Zero Aura, he's gonna end up Dynamax and the Calyrex. That's all good. Calyrex should go first, and then it should go my Zero Aura, then my Zacian, then his Eternatus. But I feel like uh, he's gonna go after Zacian with this shot, and Zacian might be able to soak up a Max Phantasm. It might be able to. It's gonna be kind of close. It's gonna be kind of close. I really do hope he can. I mean, I have my Calyrex in the back end, which is really fast. And Zacian now speeds this thing. Is this thing not invested in the speed? And of course, I miss a play rough. That's why I never really go into play roughs. That's why I hardly ever go into play roughs. That's why I never do. Like, dude, it's a 90 accuracy move, but it misses like 50% of the time. Like, the math doesn't add up for it. It makes no sense whatsoever, and I hate it. He's going to go for a Mindstorm here into Zero Aura. Zero Aura should be able to soak pretty well. Yeah. Zero Aura does pretty well with that. And then he turned us. If he turned us double down with a Dynamax Cannon, then we're going to have a problem. But I do think he's probably going after Zacian, right? Yeah, he goes after Zacian with that stab flamethrower or, or that coverage flamethrower, which I'm cool with. Don't get a burn. Do not burn me. Leave me alone. Cool. So we have speed. We take out Calyrex with this lightning. I think it's GG's, right? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. And we can just blade. Why didn't I blade to begin with? I went to play rough for some reason. Just blade to begin with. So this might be able to take out Eternatus. Say GG to the game because we know the lightning will take out the Calyrex. No problem. Right. See you later, Eternatus. Oh, no. Eternatus eats. Eternatus gets another turn. And I want the sweep, but we might not be able to get it. Lightning coming out here. Bop. See you later, Calyrex. And Zero Ward is buzzing about number two. Buzzing is an understatement. It's an understatement. So we set the terrain. We're going to have fingers crossed that my Pokemon can soak up the shot because I really want the sweep. I really want the sweep. I mean, I feel like he KOs regardless. If he goes to a Dynamax Cannon into my Zero Ward, we're dead. If he goes to a Flamethrower, we're dead. But I think he Flamethrowers again, right? Leave me alone. He Dynamax and not my Zero Aura, dude. <laughs> the Pokemon I'm showcasing, he takes out. Come on now. Unreal. Unreal. So Zero Aura gets dumped on by that Dynamax Cannon, one of the strongest moves in the game. It's just like Behemoth Blade. It's double damage, but Dragon on uh, Dynamax Pokemon. It's actually really good. Super, super strong. But Zacian is just way better. But in this case, I'm just going to go into Calyrex. I outspeed him. That's GG's. That is GG's. Hopefully, he just cancels the battle. But I want the sweep, man. I want the sweep. But I'll take the win anyway. One and one for today's video, which is great. You guys know third and final battle. We're gonna hop in there. And grab ourselves that winning record. That beautiful, lovely little winning record. I'll choose still Shadow Ball here, just because Shadow Ball looks sick. And then Behemoth Blade to come out here. But again, I think our opponent just cancels the battle. Unless he stays in here and let me showcase this lovely, cool Shadow Ball. I always thought Shadow Ball as a move always looked dope. It really does. Like, look at it. Ready? Look at this. Yeah. Shadow Ball always looked dope. It goes real slow in this game, and then it just explodes on him. I think it's dope. I really do. But there it is, guys. One on one. Let's hop to our third and final battle. Look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against a super strong team right here. We're going up against a Genesec team. I actually think I have the rental code for this exact team. But it's Genesec, Kyogre, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Yvelta, 
Thunderous, and Wimsky. I think this exact team, I went on a 19-game win streak on my stream. If you guys haven't checked out my streams yet, link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Definitely go check it out. Hit the follow button over there. And if I'm live streaming, pop into the chat. Say hi. Say what's up. I love chatting with you guys. But uh, how should I play this? So I go to Zero Oregon. Zero Oregon's not a bad lead. I mean, he might just lead like... Uh, he might just lead his... Uh, his... Calyrex, which would be a problem. But I'm going to go Whimsicott. And I think with this Calyrex, right? I got to make sure that this thing's fully invested in this thing, right? It's not. It's not. And I thought it was, which kind of hurts the soul. So I do not want to lead it just in case he wants to go into a Pokemon like his. Actually, like, we would just Tailwind. But if he goes to a Tailwind Pokemon on his own, it would be a little tough for us. But you know what? I'm going to go Regilecki, Whimsicott, Zero Aura, and then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards Zacian. Zacian just does a lot of work all around. But... Hmm. Hyogre on top of that. It's all these Pokemon are really, really strong. I'm gonna go Zassian just because he has your belt all. So I'm really like now. We're gonna lock it in, we're gonna lock it down, and I do not think we can win this battle. I don't think we can win this battle. So luckily we were able to dominate with uh boy Zero or in battle number two. But this battle's looking tough because like I said, I use this team to go on a 19 game win streak, and it's just incredibly strong all the time. I believe the Kyogre's true scarf. Just do a ton of work with it. He's going to end up leading the Yveltal on Wimsicott, which I'm cool with. I mean, I just died in Max and go into Max Lightning, right? We both go Tailwind for Tailwind. Makes the most sense. I could help him hand the shot, too. But again, then if he Tailwinds, then he goes first. But I'm cool with this. We have Focus Sash. I got to set up a Tailwind. I mean, do we think he's going to taunt me? Let me see your speed stats, Wimsicott. Let me see your speed stats. Come here. Please show me your max out. Max on speed. What's your nature? He's timid. Beautiful. So this is going to be the fastest Wimsicott. We might as well Tailwind. We might as well go for the Tailwind here. So I'm just going to Tailwind. And does he have anybody who can dodge a Lightning? No. He does not. So Lightning is 100% my play. Dynamax. We're going to drop a Max Lightning. My strongest one is this one. And we're going to get Thriving with it. That's my play. We got the Magnet too. Win it all day. I'm with it all day. So not a bad lead for us. I kind of like this turn. We'll see how this one plays out in the future. But I'm still terrified of Kyogre. Because the thing about Kyogre is, like, even with my Zero Aura in the back end, Kyogre's going to outspeed it, and it's going to take it out in one shot. <laughs> it's, it's just awful. It's it's sad, actually. It's sad, actually, that I have a big typing advantage, and he just dumps on me. Let's see if he ends up Dynamax. He is. This might be a... I don't think it's a... It should be a Soul Fest. If it's a team that I think it is, it should be a Soul Fest, so it should be able to soak pretty well. But I still think we do big damage, especially because I can help in hand next turn. We'll see how we'll, we'll just see how some plays. Plus I can also moon blast double down, but I would rather moon blast into the uh, one shot at that point. We'll see. He's gonna end up taunting me. And he taunts my Regilecki. Does he think I'm like eerie impulse? Oh, we'll take that all day. And he won the speed tie too, so we could have taunted him on Mr. Kai. This is a good place for us. This is a great place for us. We'll take that all day. So we'll drop a lightning here, and that's some big damage. So we know another one can take out without helping hand because the electric train's coming out here. We'll get that boost. We're going to max landing into that slot again and get after him. That's totally fine. He might guard next turn, too. He's going to airstream and take speed that way. So he's going to bring my Wimscott down to Focus Ash. If he tailwinds this turn, he gets off. Uh, he gets uh, more speed than me. Kind of sucks, but I still feel like we're fine here. I still feel like we're fine. Still feel like we're fine. So I'm just going to Moon Blast into this slot. Get off some damage on the Wimscott. If it's Sash, we take it off. And then I'm just going to straight up max landing. Because, again, he can't swap in any Pokemon. He's going to be forced to max guard, or he's going to be forced to Tailwind and uh, pop another shot. But if he Tailwinds and goes to, like, say, a max darkness, I think my boy Badger, like, he can eat up and then just take him out. And then we have a lot of speed on him. Because no one's faster than Badger, like, in a Tailwind, except for a Pokemon that's in a Tailwind plus speed, or a Choice Scarf Pokemon in a Tailwind. Because Badger, like, is just hands down the fastest Pokemon. Like, it cooks, man. Its speed is ridiculously fast. Like, you guys thought Calyrex and Zashin was fast. But if you actually look at the stats, Regilecki is just... It just blows him away. So there's a Tailwind from him. He's going to go Tailwind. Probably Dark Aurora. Or he might just go into a, another Airstream. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we still outspeed him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Regilecki's outspeeding a plus one Yveltal. I love him. I love him. That's big time plays. That's big time plays. Wow, dude. And I was just praising Regilecki's speed. And he pulls that out. He pulls that out. Moonblast gonna fly here. We are cooking now. We are cooking now with Regilecki Dynamax. Moonblast does a good amount of damage too. That gets a special attack jump. We are just RNG on our side right now. Dude, Regilecki just cooked there. My boy, my boy's cooking. He's cooking. 
I don't wonder if he's gonna go into he has to have Kyogre and Genesect, right? Let's see. There's Genesect, okay. Genesect's so sick. He's probably gonna what's he get? A special defense boost here? Or special attack boost? Yeah. We get special attack boost. From here we just you know do this. We just get rid of you, right? It's gonna help a hand the shot. Poor little Genesect. I'm sorry, the Genesect's so sick, but I have to KO it. I have to KO it. We'll be showcasing it on the channel very, very soon. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. Helping hand comes out here. Beautiful. We're gonna get that 1.3 times multiplier, I think it is. He's gonna protect who? Genesect. Let's watch how much damage we do through this. Watch how much damage we get get off here. Lightning's flying. Through to protect. God dang. God dang! Some big time damage. Moonblast gonna fly through it. That's totally fine. We're gonna bring out Zero Aura at this point. And I can just start faking out. I can pretty much win this battle, right? I mean, I don't know actually, because again, if he has Kai Ogre, he has Kai Ogre. That thing's choice, right? If it's a team that I think it is, it's a choice Kai Ogre. So it could really do some work. I'm gonna have to fake it out this next turn if he does bring it out, but actually, he can't bring it out right now. He cannot bring it out. How many turns left in my Tailwind? I mean, one. I mean, I can just double protect at that point. But obviously, I just wanna. I'm not even gonna fake out. More fast than both these guys. Plasma Fist this thing. And then straight up Thunderbolt. Both these should KO. We're in the Electric Terrain. Electric Terrain with Zero Aura and uh, Regilecki. That's just a problem. Two very fast Pokemon that can hit hard with Electric moves. With that Electric Terrain boost. We're just hitting hard. He's going to taunt me. Why do you keep taunting my Regilecki? Do you think I'm like Eerie Impulsing? I'm a straight up attacker. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games. Thunderbolt comes out here. We say bye bye to Wim Sky, even though it's not very effective. And then Plasma Fist should come out here next. We should be able to outspeed him. Going from there. Sorry, Genesect. Sorry, little old buddy. Sorry, buddy old pal. Bop. See you later. I think Regilecki does outspeed the Kyogre with Choice Scarf, too. So if he brings out the Kyogre, I'm just going to double protect. Waste out his last turn of Tailwind and then uh, go from there. Let's go, yo. Third and final battle. I thought it was going to be a tough one, but we, we outplayed our opponent. Made some great calls. Kind of rocked out from there. It's gonna be thunderous. Oh, that's that's game over. That's game set match. I'm not even gonna Dynamax. Does he still have Dynamax? He Dynamax Pokemon. Yeah, Belto. Yeah, we took we, we dumped him. So yeah, I'm just gonna Plasma Fist and jump a Thunderbolt at the same time. That's gonna be. GG. I obviously if I if this was like really competitive, I would have double protected me set the Tailwind so I get speed advantage. But I'm fine with that. So you go into Foul Play, which we should be able to eat up. It's game set match. This thing's Orb. Retro Lucky might just be able to dump on it. Right, Reg like you with the magnet and everything. Yeah, yeah. Too easy. Too easy. There it is, guys. The Electric Boys pick up a victory in battle number three, and we grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. We can now check off Zero Aura for showcasing him in Series 13, and we can check off another winning record for a Series 13 team. This is my third Pokemon I showcased in Series 13, and my third winning record I, I got with them. So, super excited to bring you guys that. Zero Aura absolutely dominated today. I really loved him with the Helping Hand and the Calyrex combo, and then I loved him on his own by using Fake Out, Plasivus, and even being able to Dynamax him. He does work all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.